Valorant is a depressing game. It punishes you every step of the way. Landing at the wrong spot, dead. Miss your shot by a centimeter, dead. Press that crouch button when you should have been strafing and you're not only dead, but you take an L as well. Hard stuck is where you end up. Mastery man, yes. Me, I do not shy away at the face of adversity. I know that every time I get punished by this monster that Riot created, I deserve it. I take my failures as lessons, and I know that I'm a fool for still crouching in my game. So I'm gonna keep it unbited for as long as it takes to completely destroy this stupid habit of mine. Because there's nothing that's gonna stop me from reaching Radiant. Now it's been a while since I made an episode on my road to Radiant and it's because I'm hard stuck Diamond 1. But in the downtime I was grinding hard and sharpening my skills. I am coming for that Radiant and no matter how hard it is I will prosper. With that said boys, in this one I had a single mission, get out of Diamond 1. So I warmed up and with my crouch unbinded I hopped into the first match. And look at these first few rounds. You can already tell that the last time I spent a week with no crouch I learned a lot. This really set the tone for the rest of the week. I got much better and even if that isn't true, the belief that I did made it true. During the match, I realized that the reason I was doing so well was because I always kept the thought in the back of my mind that I'm here to strafe. Obviously, I wanted to win, but strafing was the priority. Okay, and I have to do that. Res me! Which one? Which one is better? Wait, let me see it. Okay, Rayma. It's fine! Side by side. I'm back. I'm back. I'm not back. Guys, I'm not back. Clean W and a top frag. 26RR, and if I do say so myself, I deserve it. With my heart beating with excitement, I went to play the second match. I think I got a little bit mentally drained, so I wasn't doing as cleanly. But deep in my heart, I knew to keep strafing. So, I did. Thank you. Sorry, bro. My performance was clean and although I wasn't top fragging, I kept my cool. Also, I wanna show you this weird raise ult. Yo? Bro, what the fuck? Excuse me? Did they nerf the ult too? That's BS. All good though, it was a close match, but Mastery Man got the W in the bag. I was happy with day one and I just couldn't wait for day seven. I woke up and wanted to do even better. So in this first match, we got off to a great start. As much as I'd love to be a perfect player, I still get the urges to crouch, so in this round, that's exactly what happened. Okay. 
I just get the instinct to crouch and spray and well, this randomizement happens because it's unbinded. Although I top fragged, the enemies were better and I got the L. Second match. I wanted to win and I wanted to win bad. So I tried my best to play consciously and stuff my habits deep down. I went into full focus mode and with my teeth clenched, we got the W. Also, there was still a long way to go. I wanna escape Diamond 1 badly and we end the day with only 18 RR. Now I think day 3 was one of the worst. I had to go through some stuff in real life, so my mind was elsewhere. But I do try to implement stoicism in my life as much as possible. So I think I dealt with it not too bad. And this first match was a great reflection of that. I missed this guy a lot and I would usually die, but I focused my all into this last bullet and it hit. Yeah, not too much strafing done in the first half, but I had my aim to rely on, though there was this one strafe I was proud of. Ben, 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 ben. A close W and 21 RR, yes sir! I was getting close to Diamond 2, so I needed a win on this second match. I got a good team, I was hitting my shots as well, and we end the day with 72 RR. Mass 3 man, I am a person addicted to progress, and on day 4 my dopamine receptors were lit up. I was already so close to reaching my goal of diamond 2, and I was like a hungry lion coming to hunt. Watching back the footage, I was playing like a robot with aimbot installed. My confidence was sky high and I was programmed to tap these heads. Nice. Hey. 
Tschüss. Oh, 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 oh. I always had a problem when picking an operator, but again, progress. So here's a move I call Astra Outskilled. Both main place. One enemy remains. Last player standing. We lost the match, but I didn't care at all. I was so happy with how I played, and I knew that my rank up was inevitable. Second match, Pearl, I'd usually pick race, but since my crouch isn't bided, I don't feel comfortable satcheling. So, stage it is. Since I still get some urges to crouch, clutch situations like these are difficult because I play out of habit. So I kinda learned to deal with it with transferring my spray. Thankfully, we were able to pull off the W, though my goal for Diamond 2 was getting further away. Here's the thing about mental. Once it's destroyed, it doesn't have to stay like that. If you're strong enough to control your emotions, you can overcome any situation. So, as you can probably already guess, at the start of the first match, I wasn't doing too good. I wasn't horrible, but my dumb habit would get in the way more often than usual. I like how I throwed my flash at Raze and rushed to peek her from another angle. This was pure thinking, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, my crouch habit messed me up. Though, being the mastery man I am, I kept my cool and while bottom fragging, I still tried my very best. Thankfully, the team carried and I secured the W. Second match, I got Haven again and this was a great opportunity to really show myself that I can do better this time. And well, I was wrong about that. Sure, I ran out of bullets to finish the brimstone. Frenzy for president, man. I did perform slightly better, but today was just not my day. One B. Oh, I pushed me. He's on This game went to overtime and oh boy I freaking hate overtimes in this game. Gladly my team carried and a W it is. I played more and we ended the day with 70 RR. Diamond 1, can you just finally let me go bro? This is the day when I woke up with a dream in my head that I'm a strafing god. In the dream, I was performing some clean stuff, but the dream couldn't be more wrong. Because the first match was the worst match I had in months. Oh 
I literally dropped like 5 kills and I was embarrassed. But do you remember what I told you about mental yesterday? I may be a trash player, but I'm the mentally strongest person on this planet. And the second match gave me goosebumps. Quite the opposite from the last one, I think this was one of my best matches in months. These shots truly increased my headshot ratio. This 4k felt like I'm an ascended or something because I was only 19 HP and still managed to kill two people and save the round. What an unbelievable progress I've achieved. Unfortunately, we ended the day with 63 RR and I only have one day left, but with skills like these boys, you already know I'm not gonna let you down. I'll be honest with you guys, the last day of the challenge was immaculate. My strafing became more efficient and my fights were truly something. Compared to my previous videos, this was something else. I'll let this first match play out for you guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, money's on the green wall. Destroy, please destroy, destroy! One kill, ten dollars. On top. I got the W and I was only 3 RR away. And oh boy, the second match was sharp as hell. This is where I became a combat sage instead of a support sage. The match you're about to see is literally my peak performance. I don't know what's going on with me, but I always somehow manage to kill people through the smoke. And this skill was by far the best I've ever done. Can we stop picking this? Fuck this game. Bye, bye, bye. Conclusion Now I truly believe that this video was the best I've ever made My progress was insane and binding crouch is truly the way to ascendant I hope you watched till the very end And if you did, I'd highly appreciate a like and a bell Thank you